season isn't always liked by many footballers. How tough has it been for you and what's maybe been the most difficult part for you? Um, I think, like you said, not many footballers enjoy this part of the season, but I think now that the games are so close, it's getting to the ex exciting end of it. So we've worked hard, we've prepared well, and now we've got to take it into the season. There's a few new players have come in as well. How have they been settling in around the training grounds? It's an easy group to get involved in. Um, we're all friendly. We have um, a tight-knitted group that wants to make everybody welcome, so they're fitting in perfectly fine so far. Dean Smith has talked about uh, a leadership group being formed, not giving the captain's on band to one person. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Um, I think it's good. He explained the reason why behind it, and I think in the grand scheme of things, it's good that everyone wants to be a leader. Um, whether you've got the armband or not, you still got an opportunity and a platform to voice your opinion. I think he'll get more people talking if there isn't somebody that we have to directly go to or <clears throat> the gaffer translates his message directly through onto the pitch. I think everybody would chip in. Would you want to be involved? Yeah, of course. I'd be involved whether I've got the armband or not. I'm quite vocal myself, so I think it's more for the people that maybe feel they have to go through the captain and whatnot can now step up to the plate and say it themselves. When you say you're quite vocal, are, are you the one shouting at half time, come on, do your job, or what are you doing? I'm more of a quiet leader. I won't shout and rip anyone's head off, but if I feel like I can pass something kind of that's going to benefit them as an individual or as us as a team, then the group that we've got, the platform's there to do it. You were a Player of the Year uh, last season uh, and also Community Player of the Year. Do you feel that Brentford is your home now? Um, yeah, I think it, the transition was a lot easier with the gaffer being in charge. I've played maybe 90% of my professional games under him so it was it was easy and I think now that I'm coming into my third season I feel like I can say this is home yeah. What, what are your ambitions for this season then? As a group we've got to aim to get up, we've got to aim for number one I think over the last two years our reputation in the league's grown, we've started to get respect, we're not so much a surprise package as we was when, especially when I first came here so I think we've just got to make sure the people that don't look at us as a surprise now aren't disappointed and we give them what they feel they're going to get and the teams that maybe overlook us for our stature of club we've got to make sure we raise the plate again. The first match is Rotherham it's, they've just been promoted, are they going to get shock? Um, I think we have to welcome them to the league properly um, in terms of now they're in a different league and it's a different kind of ball game but I'm sure they've prepared for us um, just like we've prepared for them and they're here on merit so congratulations to them for that and now that you've got to test yourself again and we've got to be the first test. It's such a tough league in the championship isn't it? and it just every game could go either way that's what's so exciting about it what do you enjoy about it? That exact point, I think, without disrespect, when I played in League One, there's a bit of games where you feel like you should definitely win and games where it's going to be a tough, but literally anywhere you go, you've got good grounds, good pitches, good players, and you've got to be on your game. Um, you've been linked with a move back to West Brom, but it looks like you're going to stay. Is that the case? And why have you decided you want to stay there? To be fair, I haven't heard anything from it apart from what anybody else has. Obviously, we've been there for so long. You have friends and family that drop me messages and stuff but it's been totally irrelevant to me I've just had to come work hard and prepare for the Rotherham game.